It took me less than an hour to complete the painting you see in this video. That's very fast for me. In the past, I have created artworks that would take me up to 25 or 30 hours to complete. You can understand that's a huge difference in time and style, and it also requires a huge difference in mindset in order to make that change. This change for me was absolutely necessary for purely psychological reasons. Creating artwork that would take me so many hours was putting too much pressure on myself, something that I couldn't handle. It led me to a burnout and a mental breakdown pretty fast, so it was either making different choices or not going back to art at all. Obviously, I decided to go back to creating, but with a completely different mindset. And while I'm not here today to tell you how you should be creating, I am here today to tell you what changes I have noticed and what are the benefits of this choice that I made. First of all, it worked like a charm for my mental health. I now have lots of free time to do all the other activities that I want to do for my artwork, like scanning, sharing, making videos like this one, without putting too much pressure on myself. When a painting takes one hour and a sketch takes even less, I do have so much free time for other activities, but also for myself. When I needed 25 or 30 hours to complete a painting, that would mean that it was the whole week at least, and it wouldn't leave me a lot of free time for other activities as well. I would have to work all day in order to accomplish what I can accomplish now in four or five hours. So I ended up doing more, creating more, sharing more, without the stress related to that. Also, because I know now that I can finish a painting quite fast, it feels so much easier to decide to sit down and start creating. I don't have to clear my schedule and make sure that I won't be disturbed for hours. If I have half an hour free, I can create a little sketch. If I have an hour or two free, I can create a whole painting. And that's liberating. I used to believe in the hustle mentality and to working all day for your dreams, but that led me nowhere. It actually set me back. So now I do value my free time and my mental freedom as well. For psychological reasons as well, it is good to feel so accomplished for having finished a painting in a morning or half a day. It gives you the extra motivation to keep going and keep creating, to find new ideas and to not be afraid to put them on paper. When I needed one or two weeks in order to finish a painting, I would have to push myself to remind myself that I will have something to be proud of in the end, but that was a constant struggle. Now it's not, because an hour or two is not a lot of time in order to have a finished painting and look back at it and feel proud of, which makes it so much easier to keep going and be happy about the journey. It also makes it so much easier to decide what to paint because it's not a commitment for one or two weeks. It's a commitment for one hour. So even if you don't like the result or you didn't very much like the subject, it's not like you've wasted a bunch of time and effort and energy. It's just an experiment, maybe, and if it doesn't work, that's okay. Which also makes it easier to experiment freely and not be afraid constantly that you will ruin a piece that took you so many hours to complete. If you want to try something bold, you can be free to do so because it will only take away maybe an hour of your time and maybe a small piece of paper. If you've worked on a project for 20 hours and then you want to make a choice that might ruin the piece, you usually don't take that leap of faith. At least I didn't. I was scared that I might ruin the piece I was working on and I ended up not experimenting so much. That experimentation can be constant when you're painting fast and without fear, which leads to more growth faster. You can choose to practice on the basics or you can choose to make bold choices all the time, but it's something that doesn't take a lot of effort and time when you're painting that fast. In the long run, that adds up, and even if you do decide to make a painting that will take hours to complete at some point, you have so much experience on choices and decisions and the basics to create what you actually want and stop being afraid of ruining your peace all the time. 
And when you're creating like that, not everything has to be a finished painting. Not everything has to be up for sale or something to share. It doesn't really matter because you can create two or three paintings a day if you feel like it. Or you can share some small sketches and studies if you feel like it. Which brings me to my other point, which is that I have so much more content to share. In the past, I, wouldn't, I couldn't understand how some people are able to share something every single day and have something different to show. I now understand it because I have so many things that I don't have the time to share, actually. I have small paintings and studies and sketches that I could be sharing, but I do share something every single day and I create a couple of videos per week and I still have more in case I need them. And that is done without stress. And I can't stress that enough because I did lead myself to a mental breakdown and a burnout and now I am energetic, I have free time and I do more than I ever used to do in the past. And if all of that aren't enough, I will also lastly say that if you're painting fast, you can also create affordable art. If you're new to selling your art and sharing your art, it's quite hard to decide on a price. It feels weird to calculate the 20 or 30 hours you've put into an artwork and find a price that would look fair for the buyer because you're not that popular yet and you haven't sold that many paintings. But when you don't take that much time to create a piece of artwork, you can sell it for a very fair price that would make it easier for a buyer to decide to take something, to buy something from you without it feeling overpriced. Of course, pricing artworks is a completely different subject and a very difficult one, and I won't get into details here, but it's definitely easier to make decisions on your prices when you don't spend a huge amount of time painting a single piece of artwork. So anyway, that has been my experience so far from painting in a very different mindset and style and I felt like sharing that with you in case you wanted to try that as well. As I said earlier, I'm definitely not here to tell you what you should do with your time and your painting, but I'm just here to share my own experiences and then it's up to you to decide what you want to do and what you want to choose. I sure hope you enjoyed this video and this little painting. If you did, leave a thumbs up before you go and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. Remember to hit the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, be safe, be happy and keep going for your dreams. Bye.